I know, but what they said, it's the truth. Uh, but still. Sorry, Yuki. C can, can you just let me cool off alone for a while? Uh, Atsuma, and off he goes. Cool off alone, huh? Not if I have anything to say about it. <sighs> Toya. Maybe he isn't being controlled. Could he just be evil? All the pain and suffering I've seen today could be all his fault? People struggling to eat or to stay warm? People who can't live in their homes anymore? And all those who died? Is saving Toya really the right thing to do? I only cause trouble for everyone around me. Terrible things happen wherever I go. Maybe this right arm is to blame. Perhaps I should just cut it off. Rygar would do it for me, I'm sure. He'd say, that's another fine cut by me, then. <laughs> oh, no, I can't laugh. <laughs> Being able to laugh in hard times is the mark of a true man. Who's there? Sorry, you okay? It's just you're attacking Toya. Back to your old self now, are you? What? Have you got your fighting spirit back? You. Well? I suppose a little. Good. I'm pleased. Hey, you know. What? So the town got ruined. Parents, loved ones, so many people died, and. Well, even if you have been betrayed by someone close to you, if we just hang in there, if we keep persevering, we can all become a little happier tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. And then the day after that, and the day after that, the decisions we make now can make our future better. Uh. I mean, if we aim high right now, Tomorrow, we'll be one step closer to happiness. That's my philosophy. So, even if things turn out bad, or if you end up thinking, I wish I didn't know that, or I wish I hadn't done that, it's still better than not persevering at all, right? You can agonize all you like, but you mustn't be shackled by those feelings. You mustn't stop moving on. Yuki, thank you. But 
I... I know. These things take a little time. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going back to the castle. Yeah, okay. I'd like to believe we can all become a little happier tomorrow than we are today. <laughs> it's pretty corny stuff. Corny? What is? Whoa! Hey, that's overdoing it. You're being rude. G Kareem! What are you doing here? That's my line. What are you doing here, Atsuma? Oh, well, nothing. Just thinking. Hmm. I wanted to do this when no one was looking, but... When no one was looking? What? A little project. A project? Yes, a project for my father. There. I think that does it. statue of your father. Yes. I don't know if it would have pleased him or not, but... He'd be pleased, I'm sure. Thanks. This marks the first step for both me and London City. Just you watch. I'm gonna make it into an even better city than before. I know you can do it, Kareem. Atsuma. Yeah? I was thinking, maybe you'd help with the rebuilding? I did help, today. No, I mean... Long term. I'm the princess now, after all. Although you might not think it to look at me. I can arrange for a house for you easily enough. If you want to continue your enchant studies, then I can find a teacher for you, too. The food here in London is exquisite. I mean, there's my home cooking for a start. I was with you up until that point. Well, don't you think it's a good offer? Green. Green, thank you. Oh, you will? Then I'll start looking for a place for you to... No, I don't mean that. I mean, thank you, but I can't right now. I see. Yes, yes, of course. You have to go save your friend. I'm sorry. I was being selfish. Forget it, forget it. <laughs> Here I am, getting in the way of your thinking, too. I'll leave you alone. Oh, I just realized I haven't thanked you properly yet. Huh? Thank you for stopping me. For stopping the Emperor of Fire. I was about to destroy the city I love so dearly. I was about to lose not only my father, but my entire home. So I have to thank you. And that arm of yours. Me and my arm? That's right. I'm glad I met you, Atsuma. Although I was a little scared at first. Well then, I'm heading back to the castle. Okay. Sitting around brooding doesn't suit you, Atsuma. She's glad to have met me. Thank you, Kareem. Well then, I guess I should get back to London Castle too. I've been given a nice room and air. Ah, the noble district suffered just as badly. This is what the devil golem is capable of. I might be able to save Toy if I use my arm. But what if that means this happens again somewhere else? Is saving him just to boost my own ego really the right thing to do? Tell me, what do you think? Well done, noticing my presence. It wasn't easy, by the way. And? What are you so worried about now? You must save Toya. That's all there is to it. I want to save him, but... For the sake of one person, is it really okay to sacrifice everything else? What do you mean? I'm worried that I can't control my arm. I don't want to cause devastation like this anywhere else. I see. I'm impressed that you can express such complex feelings. Would you say this in front of Toya? No, of course not.